Live your life as an exclamation rather than an explanation. What we know is a drop, what we don't know is an ocean. Gravity explains the motions of the planets, but it cannot explain who sets the planets in motion. Truth is ever to be found in the simplicity, and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. All knowledge and understanding of the universe was no more than playing with stones and shells on the seashore of the vast imponderable ocean of truth. If I had stayed for other people to make my tools and things for me, I had never made anything. Atheism is so senseless. When I look at the solar system, I see the earth at the right distance from the sun to receive the proper amounts of heat and light. This did not happen by chance. If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. Poetry is a kind of ingenious nonsense. I do not know what I may appear to the world, but to myself I seem to have been only a boy playing on the seashore. To explain all nature is too difficult a task for any one man or even for any one age. No great discovery was ever made without a bold guess. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Tact is the art of making a point without making an enemy. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of people. I know not how I seem to others, but to myself I am but a small child wandering upon the vast shores of knowledge, every now and then finding a small bright pebble to content myself with while a vast ocean of undiscovered truth lay before me. All my discoveries have been made in answer to prayer. In the absence of any other proof, the thumb alone would convince me of God's existence. I do not feign hypotheses. To arrive at the simplest truth requires years of contemplation. Pictures, propagated by motion along the fibers of the optic nerves in the brain, are the cause of vision. My powers are ordinary. Only my application brings me success. A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true, for if the things be false, the apprehension of them is not understanding. Nature is very consonant and conformable with herself. I do not think that this, the universe, can be explained only by natural causes, and are forced to impute to the wisdom and ingenuity of an intelligent. A heavenly master governs all the world as sovereign of the universe. We are astonished at him by reason of his perfection, we honor him and fall down before him because of his unlimited power. From blind physical necessity, which is always and everywhere the same, no variety adhering to time and place could evolve, and all variety of created objects which represent order and life in the universe could happen only by the willful reasoning of its original creator, whom I call the Lord God. Truth is the offspring of silence and meditation. No sciences are better attested than the religion of the Bible. Where both are friends, it is right to prefer truth. The great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. And from true lordship it follows that the true God is living, intelligent, and powerful, from the other perfections, that he is supreme, or supremely perfect. He is eternal and infinite, omnipotent and omniscient, that is, he endures from eternity to eternity, and he is present from infinity to infinity, he rules all things, and he knows all things that happen or can happen. My principal method for defeating error and heresy is by establishing the truth. 
One purpose is to fill a bushel with tares, but if I can fill it first with wheat, I may defy his attempts. If two angels were sent down from heaven one to conduct an empire and the other to sweep the streets they would feel no inclination to change employment because an angel would know that no matter what we are doing, it's an opportunity to bring joy, deepen our understanding and expand our life. I can measure the motion of bodies, but I cannot measure human folly. I understood. I have understood. I do understand. If I am anything, which I highly doubt, I have made myself so by hard work. If I have ever made any valuable discoveries, it has been due more to patient attention, than to any other talent. You have to make the rules, not follow them. Therefore, to the same natural effects we must, as far as possible, assign the same causes. He who thinks half-heartedly will not believe in God, but he who really thinks has to believe in God. Trials are medicines which our gracious and wise physician prescribes because we need them, and he proportions the frequency and weight of them to what the case requires. Let us trust his skill and thank him for his prescription. Physics Beware of Metaphysics Nature is pleased with simplicity, and nature is no dummy. As a blind man has no idea of colors, so we have no idea of the manner by which the all-wise God perceives and understands all things. The best way to understanding is a few good examples. Plato is my friend, Aristotle is my friend, but my greatest friend is truth. This most beautiful system of the sun, planets and comets, could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. When two forces unite, their efficiency double. I consider my greatest accomplishment to be a lifelong celibacy. I have a fundamental belief in the Bible as the word of God, written by those who were inspired. I study the Bible daily. Nature does nothing in vain when less will serve, for nature is pleased with simplicity and affects not the pomp of superfluous causes. To me there has never been a higher source of earthly honor or distinction than that connected with advances in science. A body in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted on by an outside force. The other part of the true religion is our duty to man. We must love our neighbor as ourselves, we must be charitable to all men for charity is the greatest of graces, greater than even faith or hope and covers a multitude of sins. We must be righteous and do to all men as we would they should do to us. Godliness consists in the knowledge love and worship of God, humanity in love, righteousness and good offices towards man. God created everything by number, weight, and measure. Errors are not in the art but in the artificers. If you are affronted it is better to pass it by in silence, or with a jest, though with some dishonor, than to endeavor revenge. If you can keep reason above passion, that and watchfulness will be your best defenders. What goes up must come down. There are more sure marks of authenticity in the Bible than in any profane history. The wonderful arrangement and harmony of the cosmos would only originate in the plan of an almighty omniscient being. This is and remains my greatest comprehension. To myself I am only a child playing on the beach, while vast oceans of truth lie undiscovered before me. We account the scriptures of God to be the most sublime philosophy. 
The changing of bodies into light, and light into bodies, is very conformable to the course of nature, which seems delighted with transmutations. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.